So I'm here in Maui, just up the street from the Andaz Hotel. It's a husband and wife team. She does the baking, he scratch makes everything, and I'm telling you, everyone talks about it. This is Mateo's Osteria. I got the uh, gnocchi. His food is so authentic. It's like walking into a little piece of Italy. Jeez, meatball. You feel like your mom, who wants you to have the best, is cooking for you. Italian food is just so amazing. We all love it. So that is a good combination of modern and traditional Italian cooking. Lasagna coming up. When I tasted his lasagna, I was like, my grandma's in the room again. It's just creamy and delicious. I can assume we're starting off with the, with the, the bolognese. OK, the bolognese. We start with the oil. Italian sausage, mirepoix. To give that natural sweetness. This is local ground beef, grass-fed. This kind of thing is a morning job for me. All right, I can add the mortadella next. So yeah, see, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, mortadella. Yeah, so look no. at that, look at that. Just make sure it's mortadella. It really is mortadella. Boy, that's good. Is there that's more good. mortadella? <laughs> the glaze with the Sangiovese wine. That's not real Sangiovese. That's bay leaves, rosemary, tomato sauce. I import canned tomatoes from, from Italy. Italy. The veal demi. If you could see, guys, the viscosity of this, and that comes from when you make your own demi. How long is this gonna simmer? At least it's three hours. Now we're gonna go in the back. We're gonna get into making the pasta? First the flour, I mix it with salt, and then I add the eggs. Got it. I'll let it work 15 minutes, and I need to wrap it and let it rest for an hour. The flour and semolina mix. Folding it in thirds when you're folding it in half so, to continue to build the layers. So this is ready. Nice. He's taking the measurement of the half pan. You go. Hey, let's go take a watch. Did they just leave us? I did. Blanch the pasta. I use bechamel sauce along the bottom, give a nice uh, moist pasta sheet. More bechamel. bechamel. The bolognese that we made. Parmigiano Reggiano. Mozzarella cheese. And it just keeps going. Five layers of love. Five layers of love. Par bake this for how long? 15, 20 minutes. I flip it on a cutting board, cool it. Portion it, bechamel. When it's time for service, you bake it in the terracotta bowl. I bake bowl. it in the terracotta 10 minutes with the foil on. Okay. Another five to 10 minutes without the foil, because I like that nice, crusty, mm. cheesy. <whistles> Don't touch it. It's very hot. Parsley, Parmesan cheese. And that's all she wrote. You're going to share. No, oh, no. Ah, 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 ah. We speak the same language. Young grasshoppers, I want you to learn the discipline of how to enjoy one bite at a time. See, I like how you got that nice and crispy on top. Just watch, guys. It's delicious. This doesn't hurt us at all. This is rustic, super balanced. You really get the bolognese. And it's not heavy, and it's bright, really clean flavors. We should have popped a couple in for the boys. My mouth just sal it, it's uh... I got a full tray for them. Your lasagna. The toasted melted cheese really gives it a nice little crunch. It's good stuff. I think I'll be able to actually finish the entire dish, and that's not common with lasagna. But this, I could pound it out. 